and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lysandra Lux. So this was a viewer submitted donation deck, um, well at least donation deck idea for a meme tier Lysandra deck where it was just build a crazy Lysandra deck, build you know something unique out of the box with Lysandra. So that's where we started. And so kind of looking through the champions, somebody in Twitch chat was like, well, what about Lysandra and Lux with a control deck? And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. And started building a Lysandra Lux control deck with the thralls um, and everything. Uh, but then another person was like, well, what if we go War Mother's Call and then a bunch of top end cards? Because Lysandra, right, they want us to summon um, four units that cost eight plus mana to be able to create this Watcher and have the Watcher cost zero, right? It's like we need, we need a bunch of um allies that cost eight plus mana so that's where we're going with this we're going super greedy we're going three war mother's call and then we're going bright steel formation uzgar and tiana awesome top end right all three of these are are pretty great cards and we're going to be putting them into play with war mother's call and once we summon two of these eight plus cost cards then our lissandra will level up and then another two and then our watcher will cost zero so pretty cool combination there but then we'll also have Lux with um, a lot of uh, spells for like these sweepers. We're going to have Ice Shard and Avalanche and, and spells like that um, and playing defense with our with our Lux. So that should be pretty cool too. You know, Catalyst of Aeons is going to be a good 5-cost spell to help us ramp, but then it's also a 5-cost spell for Lux to ramp. We have one... So basically, uh, as far as our units go, we only have 16. We have our, our 6 champions, Lissandra and Lux, and then our 9 really heavy top-end cards. We just have one Weirding Stones to kind of be like our fourth Catalyst, because we do need to ramp, but we don't want our War Mothers just to be putting in a bunch of Weirding Stones, right? Like, that that's not anything we want. So we just got one of them in here. But, so, but we still need like early blockers and everything like that. So we're going to be playing Secession and Blinding Assault. Both of these are going to be units, but they cost spell mana. So the spell mana helps level up Lux, but they're also units that we can play early on in the game where we don't get them with War Mother's Call, right? Because like, you could play like Averroes and Sentry as like a good blocker to slow your opponent down. But then when you War Mother's Call, you're going to put Averroes and Sentry into play. Or like Kindly Tavern Keeper, same thing. You're going to put those into play. We don't want that. We want our War Mother's Call to put these things into play because these things are sweet. You know, putting Avros and Sentry in, that's lame. <laughs> so there, we, so that's why we are playing like Blinding Assault and Secession over, you know, Sentry and Kindly Tavern Keeper. So that, that uh, yeah, so this looks really interesting. So here we go. So it's Lissandra Lux. It's Meme Tier Day. We're going to just be playing on over in normal like we always do on Meme Tier Day. And let's see how it does. Yeah, very greedy deck. We have 12 cards that cost 8 plus mana. Alright, we're playing against Zoe Diana. This looks like a, a really good opening hand. We don't have the ramp, but besides that, two, uh, two damage sweepers. We got a Blinding Assault to also help kind of be a removal spell and make our sweepers even better. Um, predictions. I can start that. Oh, somebody else started it. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. <laughs> you think our opponents are gonna be really confused? They're gonna be like, what is this? Okay, so they just went Spacey Sketcher. What did they discard? Guiding Touch. Probably a good choice. Don't care about that card too much. Could go Secession, but I'm just going to save the spell mana. Would be nice to have the ramp card. That's the only thing that our hand is missing is a ramp card. And they're just passing, not even attacking. I'm going to just take the pass. Sure, they they gain one man on us, but whatever. If we want to just keep on passing and then we play War Mother's Call, let's go. <laughs> you know? Let's keep passing. What do you think, Harvey? Keep passing? We could pass all day. Mother
we have a lot more cards in hand than they do. Wow, discarding Diana. Discarding Diana. Which is actually probably pretty smart, because like our like we're pretty good against Diana with the cards that we have in hand. Besides having any ramp, the rest of it is going pretty well for us. Very carefully. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. Mm. My doggo right here likes to scratch my chair. I'm not petting her. No. No. <laughs> the other doggo would just stay there looking at me. Probably a waste of a flash freeze. Considering it's just like this 3 1 that I don't really care about. <laughs> Spell Thief? Really? Alright, well, that worked out well for me. Okay, so I need to save 3 spell mana this turn, so I can only spend 5 mana. So I'm sorry, Tion, I don't get to play you. Because I'm saving three spell mana so I can play War Mother's Call next turn. One star's whoopsie is another spark. <laughs> spell Thief is just three sisters. Yeah, basically. Whoa. That's great for us. So yeah, they only have just a couple of cards left. <laughs> Catalyst always shows up when you don't need it anymore. Alright, here we go. War Mother's Call. It is a Prismatic War Mother's Call. I don't think that means it puts in Prismatic Allies, but we'll have to see. I haven't actually cast the Prismatic War Mugs call yet. Nope, it does not. <laughs> and there we go. That's going to lead to the concession. Because, yeah, they're, they're not going to be able to win from there for sure. Okay, beating Zoe Diana. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that wasn't Weirding Stones. Yeah, I just ended the game on the spot. A little anticlimactic. A little bit. Another Zoe deck, but this one is a Zoe deck going big. They're going to have their own ramp. They're going to have a bunch of the damage spells and everything, too. So we really want ramp in this matchup. We need to keep War Mother's Call because we got to have that at the top end. But Avalanche is like the worst card for us to have. We need ramp. So 
So we have our four ramp cards. Where are they at? Yeah, I would assume they're that they're yeah. I would assume they are a Targon's peak deck, which could be very good for us. Yeah, no ramp. They get their ramp. Catalyst of Aeons, where are you? No, not right like that. Uh, they are much better at this game than we are. <laughs> the only cards that matter are the ramp card. You know, the ramp cards get to get to the top end, and they drew two. Three. They drew three ramp cards? Wow, what a life. What a life they live. Drew zero. Yeah, what a life. GG's. Outplayed. We were outplayed. So I kept the I kept the War Mothers, because all that mattered was just ramp and war mothers, right? But they had ramp and feel the rush, right? Like it, nothing else mattered for that matchup. And unfortunately fortunately they had the cards. How can we never have any ramp cards? Where's Catalyst of Aeons? Nothing like the, great outdoors. the best card in our deck, Catalyst of Aeons. Where are you? Yay! Yeah, we there we go. Finally. Not for everyone. Pass the turn. I think this is probably going to be a loss. These are the two best cards in their deck. Teemo, Puffcat Peddler. Definitely the scariest cards. Not really scared of anything else in their deck besides these two cards. Especially Peddler. But unfortunately that's what they had. very good Avalanche. They're playing Freljord. They're going to just protect their Teemo. The reason not to play Avalanche is so that we can have three spell mana to go along with the Lux. So now I can play Secession and get halfway towards a Lux level up. And then next turn we can play like the Prismatic Barrier. Get the other th 
you know, so like we get halfway here, now Prismatic Barrier gets us to six for a final spark. Could also... I guess we could pretty easily just go Harsh Winds with an open attack. Then maybe I didn't even need this other three for the Vanguard. That's going to double a month. We're at 17 right now, double to 34. The main problem is stopping Teemo in a future turn. Okay, so they're, they're gonna go Fury. Yeah, good good hand. You know, Teemo, Puffcat, Peddler. That's definitely the two cards I didn't want to see. The whole the rest of the deck is perfectly fine playing against. They got me. This is the second straight opponent that's had like the exact cards in the deck that <laughs> beat us, right? Like the other last opponent just had like the ramp plus field rush. This opponent had the Teemo Peddler. Well, yeah, like, War, War Mother's Call would put a top ally from your deck into play. That doesn't... Like, those puff caps just go away. Like, if there's a puff caps on the card, right? Because they just... They'll just go into play. You don't draw them. You only draw puff caps. So I'm doing this to put a Lux back into the deck. So maybe we draw that Lux. That would have zero puff caps. You never know. Sure. 
Too bad the, the damage is already dealt from the turn one Teemo, turn three Puffcat Peddler. We got a brand new Twitch Prime sub, Vulcan3k. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much there, Vulcan. I appreciate that. Oh, hey, there was that new Lux that didn't have puff caps. We ended up drawing it. For justice and all things bright. Into battle with hearts aglow. We ended up drawing it. I'm down to six. Go get him, Tiana. Winter, take you. Hmm. If only I would have played Lissandra last turn, too. Of course, I was planning on playing War Mother's Call, but I guess I, I should have played Lissandra with this three mana last turn. Then I could have attacked for another two, put them down to four. Um... Not a bot. Thank you so much for that resub. All right, getting some subs. We got to update the sub goal. We're at three out of five now after Vulcan and not a bot. If it's a fight they want. All right, putting the Lux back in into our deck again. Again, maybe we draw it again. Never know. All right, let's draw that Lux, please. That Icefell Archer, you know, on the Tiana was so good. Because it that was kind of like their card to sa save him, right? Because it Frostbite that and blocked another thing. That was perfect for them. No, one. Uh, that's too bad. It was, only one it was still pretty close, even after turn three Peddler and Teemo. No, War Mother, w War Mother would not have made us dodge all the the puff caps. The Tiana was definitely the card that gave me the best chance of winning that game, and so just casting Tiana was the way to go. All right, we finally have Ramp Turn One, or like in our opener this time. So we got Ramp War Mothers, which is good. Yeah, I felt good about that Tiana as well. Okay, and round. So they got the Frozen Thrall. Um, you know, countdown clock going. We got triple War Mothers. Would love another Catalyst. Catalyst is our best draw. The sun is shining. We should too. I follow the Freljord's true leader. I don't really know if that's worth it. Okay. 
<laughs> Perfect curve opponent, yeah. Yeah, we've been running into opponents that have had, you know, the dream scenario, right? Char one thrall, the Inquisitor. It's like I don't, I don't think there's anything else in their deck that's really beating us, right? Like even like Captain Farron, like we'll, you know, or they're playing Leviathan probably. Like I think we outrace Leviathan with War Mother's Call, and the Ram card. There's kind of nothing else, and <laughs> that's just kind of how. Uh, these games have been going, though. Because, uh... yeah, we're, we are a greedy deck. Definitely. But our opponents have had, like, the, the one aspect of their deck that's perfect against us. Right? Like, ramp... Ramp... Like, three ramp spells in Field of Rush? Perfect. You know, turn one Teemo, turn three Puffcat Peddler, that's exactly what you want. The rest of the cards don't really matter. Again, like, those are, like, the only subsector cards that matter. And then, you know, turn one Frozen Thrall, and then turn five Draklorn, those are the cards that matter again. So we're not getting, we're not getting the best of luck for, like, our opponent's sake, right? Like, they're not helping us out. We have to play it, though. Because of the Frozen Thrall. I couldn't... I made a mistake here with playing the... Uh, the Ice Shard. That was a mistake. Onward to victory. Fight. Protect the throne. Foolish child. Serilda. We strike now. Destination in sight. No hesitation. Kill. Yeah, this this all is because of the ice shard. That was I I made a big mistake here playing that ice shard. That really that really hurt me. Discipline or death. That ice shard was a big mistake. Because of the Ice Shard, then I don't get to play the War Mother's Call when I need to. So, big mistake by me. But still, I think that if we could play those three games again and and have a good chance of going three and zero if they don't have like those specific parts of their deck. This has been really frustrating. Our opponents have had the correct part of their deck each round. Yeah, I have four four more donation decks for tomorrow, but. Kind of wanted a sharp sight block. Good thing we didn't. The 
desert by my side. So I can go Sharp Sight and kill Thresh. But then I can't play Usgar into War Mother's Call if I do that. And I think I want to go Usgar into War Mother's Call. Alright, so I'm not playing Usgar next turn. I'm just playing Fla Flash Freeze next turn. And then War Mother's Call the following turn. I'm gonna take four. Casting Osgar would let me open attack and challenge Thresh, but we we gotta play War Mothers. I will bury the world in ice. It's not very impressive. Wow. Pass. I shall lead the way. The soul wears away like grains of sand. The bright steel formation is tempting. This is certainly a flash freeze turn. You know, them attacking and putting in Nasus. 
Nasus probably isn't that big. But then they also have Atrocity. Good life. I guess by playing Bright Seal Formation, I'd get a tough Nexus also. But. Tough Nexus wouldn't save me. Black Spears. Oh, yeah. Not all magic is evil. Don't waste my time. At least it was an atrocity. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. This doesn't count as striking for twelve for twelve damage, right? When it's a barrier. Like this won't level up Nasus, will it? I don't think it does. I don't know why they're so scared to not take 4 damage also. As long as they don't find Atrocity. We're going to burn a couple of things from our War Mother's Calls because we don't have room anymore. A dark cloud looms. Sorry, Lissandra. Sorry, Tiana. What a shame you aren't, Aunt Tiana. No hesitation. So I guess the thing to do now is to keep Harsh Winds up. So we can't lose to Atrocity. I 
Not even blocking the 8-3 with that. It didn't look like Atrocity was the last card they just drew. It looked like they they have it last turn? And just not play it? Our penance is to serve, curator. They have every Nasus. So the problem with killing Thrash is then they get to they could play another Thrash, they could pu pull another Nasus. So I'm out of both of those cards. <laughs> That's their fourth Nasus to draw. Sure. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. Wow, what a life. Just draw four Nasus and two Atrocity. They're just not drawing any other cards in their deck besides Na Nasus and Atrocity. It was only one we had the worst luck possible in these five games. I think our deck actually looked kind of cool, but every opponent just had the best cards they could have. Wow. That was really frustrating. Because this deck actually looked pretty good. But yeah, you know, sometimes they have, you know, all their ramp and then feel the rush. Or sometimes they have the, the Teemo plus Peddler hand, right? Like, that's that's a difficult hand to stop. I, I'm not scared of anything else with that deck. Or sometimes they have just the, the turn one thrall, turn five Draklorn, right? Like again, not scared at all of that, that uh, Lysandra Swain deck. But they just had the, you know, the turn one thrall, then turn five Draklorn, and that thrall just took over. Having turn five, eight, eight overwhelm, right? Like, if they just have any kind of slower hand, we're going to have a better hand. Like, we're going to have, have a better top end, but they just, you know, had the turn five, eight, eight overwhelm. They killed me a little too fast. And then, yeah, only, like, you know, Nasus and Atrocity are the only cards that matter. And that's what they ended up having all... They, had, they drew four Nasus, because it... And two atrocity, and like they, those decks usually only play two atrocity. So I don't know. That's that's how it goes. I I liked our build though. I really liked our list. The only thing I could see playing is just like a little bit more ramp, but um, I liked our list quite a bit to be honest. I did. So, yeah, that's that's how life goes, you know. Like that's why that's why I want to show you these videos of like show you how real games go. I could, you know, we could play another five games here and then you know go four and one and and you know let me show make the decks look really good. But I that's not what we do here on stream. 
I want to show you how real games go. And some sometimes um, your opponents have the exact part of their deck that matters when so much of their deck doesn't matter, but they have the parts of the deck that matter. And that's just what happened four games in a row. Man, that was crazy. All right, but there we go. That's Lissandra Lux. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Um, give this deck a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how y'all like this deck. Because I, I really do think this was a pretty good pretty good deck and a good list. And I think that this deck did a bunch of cool stuff. So give this a try. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes for you. All right, but that's all I got here for Lissandra Lux. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.